So the Deadpool trailer dropped eight hours ago, right as my workday started. So I've been trying to avoid spoilers all day long. Coworkers were trying to talk to me about it. So let's just do this. Actually, that may have been me. Oh, you're living the dreams, DP. Yeah. Devil me care attitude. <laughs> Strong guys. Beautiful girlfriend. Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching into space where it can't not hurt us ever again. Kiss me like you miss me, Red. What in the fuckicle is this? My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? Move or die. Move or Kids give us a chance to be better than we used to be. He needs you. You're a lot smarter than I look. <laughs> I ain't letting Cable kill this kid. But I can't do this alone. Can you speak up? It's hard to hear you with that pity dick in your mouth. We're gonna form a super duper <laughs> fucking group. We need them tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Now, <laughs> let's go get our fuck on. Don't call it a comeback! Tell me they got that in slow motion. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight dirty. That is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. It lives up to the hype, plus plus. Fuck it, they probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it too, you killed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before I give my full thoughts on it, tell me what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Give me some context. Did you love the first one? Were you disappointed? Was it overhyped for you? Tell me all that fun stuff down below in the comment section. Let's have a nice, lively discussion. With that said, I was a little bit nervous about this one because we're getting six weeks out from the movie's, or two months out from the movie's release, and we only had kind of that one trailer that was, you know, not really footage from the movie, I don't think. So I was getting nervous about this one, and likewise, with the first movie, there was so much uh, viral marketing and stuff that they created, and this one was a lot more reserved than what they did before. And then this, this trailer made me laugh quite a bit. And then the action they showed looked really good. Uh, and then even little things like where on the first one they had the DMX song. If you're going to follow up the DMX song, what do you go with? LL Cool J's Mama Said Knock You Out, Don't Call It A Comeback. That's a pretty good uh, sequel song to go with there. So uh, a lot of things on this one put a big grin on my face and kind of reinstilled some faith in this movie for me. As for the kind of the main plot line of it, when you kind of go, a guy from the future comes back in time to try and get a kid, thinking about movies from the last five years that involve time travel, Looper's the obvious one that comes to mind. So that seems on a plot level, a bit kind of odd, heavy handed. So hopefully they either have more of the plot than kind of what they're telling us right here, or they have a lot of fun making looper jokes in the movie with, you know, the breaking the fourth wall stuff that they do. So there's some potential there to redeem some of my concerns in that, but on a plot level went, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, th my biggest concern with this movie really was kind of the, how do you keep the freshness of the humor? When uh, rated R comedies come along that, kind of come out of nowhere and so far exceed expectations, a lot of times they have a pretty heavy sophomore slump. There's a lot of examples of that over the last 10 years where you're talking about The Hangover 2, uh, things like that kind of come to mind. 
And this one, just from what we're seeing here, it still seemed to have it. It seemed to have that freshness. They're not just trying to copy what they did before. From what I saw here, at least my first impressions from this one. That's my quick take on it right there. The humor worked for me. The action looked really cool. Brolin, his cable has looked great and all the stuff they've seen from him. He clearly hit the gym to try and pull off the part. On the plot level, a little bit of question, a little bit in my mind on that one. I mean, that's not... The plot isn't the main thing on these ones that I'm not, I'm not looking for this big grandiose plot, so just something that works well enough. So I'm not, it's not like a red flag or anything, but a bit of a yellow flag at how loopery it seemed at first glance. That's Sean's take on it. How about you once again, tell me down below in the comment section your take on it. Also, if you're watching this right when I post this one, uh, some people ask me where I get my shirts from, or also I have some Sean Chandler talks about merch sites. They're over at Tee Public. There's a sale going on today and tomorrow, so Thursday and Friday, I believe. There's a link down in the description, um, $14 t-shirts, whether, you know, ones like this fun run right here, fun one right here, or my Thanos vs. the world one, Thanos vs. the universe one that I wear from time to time, or my Sean Chandler talks about t-shirts over there. Please consider checking that out if you like the shirts that I uh, wear. They do kind of helps out my channel if you purchase out of my store over there. And if you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and trailer reactions from time to time like this one you're watching right now. But the key thing is I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So join me down in the comment section. Let's have a lively discussion. And as always, thank you for watching.